In this video, you will learn how to model a spoon like this in Blender. This is Blender 3D software and its version is 4.1.1. Let's start by deleting this cube. Select this cube and press X and enter to delete it. Add in a plane by pressing Shift plus A, Mesh, Plane. Switch to top orthographic view by pressing 7 number on the number pad. Press S, Y. 0.15, and enter to scale it on Y axis. Press S, X, 3, and enter to scale it on X axis. Zoom the view in by mouse wheel up, and press Tab to enter edit mode. Place your cursor to the bottom of the plane. Press Ctrl plus R keys for loop cuts. Increase or decrease the number of cuts by mouse wheel up and down, click to confirm and right click to release. Come down here and click to expand this loop cut and slide box. Set number of cut value to 7, and minimize this box. Come up here and click this icon for edge selection, and click this move icon to activate arrow for transformation and direction. Click this first edge to select it and move this on X axis near to this thick grid line. Press S, 4, and enter to scale it up. Select this second edge, move it near to this thick edge and scale it up by pressing S, 5, and enter. Select this fourth edge and move it about 5 small grid to the left. Select the fifth edge and move it back to the green line. Select this seventh edge and move it somewhere here. Move also this sixth edge near this thick grid line. Now click and drag to draw a box to select these edges. Press S. Y, 2, and enter to scale them on Y axis. Now go near this edge and press Ctrl plus R keys for loop cuts. Add 3 loop cuts there with mouse wheel, click to confirm and right click to release. Click this edge to select it, now press and hold the shift key and click these other edges to add them to the selection. Press 1, for the front view. Press and hold the control key and pull the selection 1 grid line up by dragging this blue arrow. Rotate the view little bit with middle mouse button. Now come back here and click this little icon to activate vertex selection tool. Come down here and select these 6 vertices while pressing shift key. Again press 1 for the front view and while pressing control key, drag the selection 4 step down like this. Press Z key and choose wireframe. Now click and drag to draw a box to select right part of the spoon and while pressing control key, move the selection 5 steps upwards. Press 7 for the top view. Draw a box to select only the last 4 vertices. Press M and choose center to merge them to the center. Merge also these 4 vertices to the center of the selection. Press Z key and click on solid. Press tab to exit edit mode. Right click on this spoon and click shade smooth. Now come over here and click this modifier icon, click add modifier, generate and subdivision surface. Increase this level's viewport value once. Rotate the view little bit like this with middle mouse button. Now we have to give some thickness. While this spoon selected, go back to this modifier section and add another modifier, click on add modifier, generate and solidify. We got the 0.01 meters of thickness. Click and drag this new solidify modifier above the subdivision surface modifier. This order first makes spoon solid then applies subdivision. Come up here and click this icon to hide gizmos. Click here to hide overlays. Click this little down arrow and choose matte cap lighting. Click this ball and choose the shadings you like. This is what you just made. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share the video.